issued by the Interior Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, to have the UNHCR develop a roadmap for the closure of the Dadaab and Kakuma refugee camps lapsed today with no indication that the ultimatum has been adhered to. A spot check by KTN News at Kakuma refugee camp indicates business as usual approach by the refugees and the residents with no further directive coming from the government. Timothy Otieno with that report. The directive came from a statement issued by Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi through the Ministry of Interior. It would be the third such directive issued in the last four years. The two weeks window period to develop a roadmap for the closure of the camps lapses Wednesday midnight. But in Kakuma, the residents couldn't be any less bothered about the directive. Traders and business operators in the town of Kakuma proceeded with their daily routine unperturbed by an order issued two weeks ago to have, among others, the Kakuma camp, which houses about 190,000 refugees, closed down permanently. <laughs> Matiangi's order was criticized by many as a retaliation by the Kenyan government over a maritime boundary dispute between Kenya and Somalia, which interestingly began its hearings of the case at the International Court of Justice on the same day the Kenyan government issued its ultimatum. Kenya withdrew from the maritime case hours before proceedings began after filing a notice of non-participation in the hearings at The Hague. But in Kakuma, both the leadership and residents of the area remain opposed to the closure of the camp. So this is the members of the UN, the Sharia of the UN is in a two-guide, and the Sharia of the UN Kenya. This is the case of the Kana West. The people who are in the West are in the West. They are in the West. They are in the West. They are in the West. At least they are in the West. At least they are in the West. 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 The camp, which was established in 1991, has hosted hundreds of thousands of refugees up until 2015 when the Kenyan government ordered for the closure of both Kakuma and Dadaab over links of harboring terrorists responsible for the Westgate and Garissa University attacks. That closure was halted by the High Court in 2016, but Kenya embarked on a repatriation exercise in 2019, targeting more than 200,000 refugees. With the Ministry of Interior remaining tight-lipped on whether the UN Refugee Agency has met the deadline in coming up with a comprehensive roadmap for the closure, the residents of Kakuma continue with their business and bothered with the looming crisis over the camp. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. Well, tough talk, no bite. And if you think the United Kingdom was wrong in issuing a travel adversary against Kenya, well, you were wrong because today.